Hello and welcome to my channel and today is going to be an empties video. Wowzers, oh my goodness, I might have to split this over a couple of months or a couple of videos. I've got through so much stuff. I don't know why, whether I've just come to the end of things or what. So we're in lockdown still. I've still been working, so it's not like I've been at home using more stuff. But I seem to have just come to the end of quite a lot of things. So let's start with this. You know I love foam burst. This is my, is this my new favourite? No, because I'm going to come on to something else in a minute. Right, anyway, I do love this. I bought about five of these when they first came out from Home Bargains. It's the Raspberry Flamingo. And yeah, I really do like it. Um, will buy it again. Can't say much more than that. It smells lovely. I really, really like it. I love the bottle as well. Look at the design on that. It's got little flamingos on it with strawberries. So that's a definite buy it again. This at the minute is my favourite. I feel such a, uh, a traitor moving. So this is the Nivea one. And I bought this from um, Superdrug. It was like on the end of a, an aisle. You know when they come to the end of... Um, I think when they change the packaging on something. or I don't know what, but it was in some ridiculous sale. I only paid £1 something for it. Really like it. it so it's the Nivea um, Silk Mousse in Almond Oil. Now what I found the difference is between that and that... You don't need as much. I've said before, I think I use far too much of this anyway. It reckons you're supposed to get about 40 washies out of it. But I'll be lucky if it lasts me a week. Uh, maybe a little bit longer. But this, for some reason, I don't know whether it just foams up a little bit more or it feels a bit thicker. It lasted me a lot longer. So, yeah, absolutely love this. Um, I have, I did realise I did use some of this before in Lemon Meringue. If you've been here a little while, you might have remembered me talking about that before. But this is the almond oil one. Um, yeah, really like it. Definitely will be buying that one again. So, right, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of moisturisers now, body moisturisers. Um... I've had a couple on the go, these two, namely. Uh, first of all, let's talk about this one. I think I got this one from Tesco. It's not a Tesco-owned brand. Uh, I was drawn to it. I like them with the pumps on. I do find them a lot easier to use. So this is the Aloe Body Milk for Dry Skin, uh, Moisturising, Calming and Repairing. And if I remember back, I think that was about 199. I've had it for quite a long time, 400 mil. Yeah, really like that. It's not too um, thick. It is a lotion. I'm not sure what's the difference between lotion and moisturizer. I think moisturizer is a bit. Moisturizers are a little bit thicker. So this is quite not watery, but it is. Um, it is a lotion consistency. But yeah, I like that. Not too much of a fragrance. Little went a long way. It's lasted me quite a long time actually so yeah i definitely buy that one again mm -hmm. this on the other hand now hmm uh the palmer's cocoa butter stuff i used to use a lot when i was younger um it was sort of all the rage wasn't it to as, as moisturizers go body moisturizers um so i thought i'd pick this one up when i saw it in boots it was on an offer it's more like body butter i think that's why i thought i'd like it i used to like Body Shop's Body Butters, and it was in in a sale, it had an offer on it, it, was, it ended up being about £2.49 or something, and it's usually a lot more than that, and it's taken me ages to use it, because I didn't like it, oh, the smell, I don't know why I've even used it, I just really don't like it, I don't know whether, I think I might have gone off this fragrance, because the chap I was dating before I met Alan, he used to use Cocoa Palmer's moisturiser, not this stuff, the actual lotion. And he used to rub it all over himself, as you do. Not many men put moisturiser on the body, do they? Alan doesn't. Anyway, I think the smell has put... <laughs> I've been put off the smell by him. Because he used to have very soft skin, but I think because I could smell it. Anyway... I think it was a reminder each time. This is a... I'm going to have to put the lid on. This is a really strong smell. Um, it's the... It, it's it, it's really hard to describe it. It, it, it was it's all, almost like solid when you first put your fingers in it. It's hard. And the heat of your hand or your body softens it up. 
Um, it's re I have to say it is re it's really good stuff. Um, it's supposed to be able to um, smooth marks and tone up your skin. So it's good for things like stretch marks. Uh, relieves rough and dry skin with 24 hour moisture. It is a fantastic body moisturiser. If you need something, if you've got dry skin, really is good. Just takes a bit of getting used to the consistency of it and like you have to pick a bit out and warm it up and then use it. But oh, I really don't like the smell of that one. So that is a definite bin. I'd be interested to hear if anybody else has used that, your thoughts on the smell. Might just be me. Anyway, back onto something else that smells that I didn't like. Here we go. So these were back in the day when you could go to Primark. Um, these were new in Primark, or certainly in our Primark. I'd not seen them before. So these are three-in-one sports wipes. So I don't quite know what the difference is, is a sports wipe. Anyway, I've used these as facial wipes or wipes for my hands. Um, so they're the, a three-in-one wipe suitable for body, face and hands. Refreshes and revitalises refreshes and revitalizes enriched with tea tree oil so i don't mind the smell of tea tree i use it in some other some other products that i've got but i really didn't like the smell of these and i didn't rate them really as wipes now they're not saying that they're makeup wipes which is fair enough but i'm not quite sure what else you use them for maybe freshen up around the old areas um but no i didn't like these at all i didn't like the texture on them i didn't like the smell so i'm sorry primark bin Primark will be redeemed via these. So these are the wipes that I do really like. Being in lockdown, can't get any more at the moment. I've run out now. But these are the PSH2O um, type. Not to be mistaken with these. I got the wrong type thinking it was these. Um, I'll come on to those in a moment. But yeah, these are my favourite facial wipes for getting rid of makeup. They are, they are the micellar wipes, biodegradable. Um, you get a two packs for a pound and you get 25 in each pack. Absolutely love these. Definite buy. When the shops are open, I'll be stocking back up. I won't, however, be getting any more of these. These, I think, will be fine for other people. I just like those others better. I don't know why... I don't know whether I like them better on my face. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I just like those others better than these. But these are absolutely fine. Um, and these are better value, actually. You get 25 in a pack, two packs of 75 pence. I would buy them again, but I'd buy the H2O ones first. So if the H2O were, H2O were out of stock, I'll get these instead. So on the fence on those. Sheet mask next. Or the wrapper from. Uh, yeah, this is the next one. So I've not, I'm not really, I haven't really used a lot of sheet masks. Get your words out, Belinda. Um, I normally use peel off masks, but I thought I'm going to try getting to a few of the sheet ones because a lot of people rave about them. This one was from Home Bargains, and it's the anti aging collagen woven mask with aloe vera. Uh, I think this was ninety nine pence. Pop that on your face. Quite relaxing actually. You look a bit of an idiot in them, so. Don't do them when anybody else is around necessarily, but they're nice just to pop on your face, sit back, watch me on YouTube. What more can you? What more can I say? But yeah, absolutely like that. Didn't have any reactions to my skin or anything, and my skin felt quite nice after. So yeah, I'd buy one of those again, 99p. Look at the state of that. Absolutely squeezed to an inch of its life. Um, I've not been going to Poundland during um, lockdown not felt it that I've needed to go because I can get stuff from elsewhere but I have run out of this I've been washing my hands because I'm still at work I'm having to wash my hands a lot at work using the um the the gels and stuff really really dried up my skin so I've been using a heck of a lot of hand cream in fact I've got through two of these in a month uh, I have one at work one at home so these are the Poundland um, hashtag six hand creams Really, really rave the rate rate this stuff, rave about it. Um, it's got coconut oil, in it, coconut oil, collagen, and vitamin E in it. Apparently, um, doesn't smell too much. It's not too greasy. It's a really, really good hand moisturiser, and I'm desperate to get some more. So when I eventually get down to Poundland again, possibly won't be for a while yet. I shall be grabbing some more. For a pound, this stuff is worth its weight in gold. Definite bin.
No, definite bye. What are you on about, Belinda? A bye. So excited. So a bit of makeup next. Um, I do tend to have a lot of mascaras on the go at once. I have about eight or nine. Uh, so it takes me quite a long time to get to the end of one, but I persevered with this. This is the Le Cura range. This is from Audi, the supermarket Audi, and it's their rip-off of the Benefit one, and it's called Too Legit. Now, I'd never used this before. It's got quite a random sort of little brush. Yeah, I really, really rate this. Um, do I really, really rate it for how much it was? It's okay. This was, I think this was either $4.50 or $4.99, so it's not that cheap compared to some of the more budget um, mascaras you can buy. Obviously a lot cheaper than Benefit's version. Yeah, I liked it. I liked that little bit on the end. This this bit's really good at the end um, for catching the bottom lashes. Um, I quite like a lot of mascara on the bottom, and this is great for, for doing those without making too much mess, actually. So, yeah, it's not overly cheap, but I think it, it lasts well. So, yes, I think I would buy that one again. Right, only a sample here, but I wanted to feature this. This is my favourite, favourite um, foundation. It is the Yves Saint Laurent one. I'll put a picture of what it should look like in now. So I have to say, I have a confession. I've never actually bought a full size one of these because I've not needed to. Now I've mentioned on here before about picking up freebie, freebies from shops. I've got, I've got about 10 of these on the go. And these are all free from different places that I've um, been into and picked some up. Foundation is very personal as I've now discovered. You know, what I like doesn't mean to say you'll like it. My skin type's different to yours. I like a different look, blah, blah, blah. So there's something for everyone out there, but this is by far the nicest one I've found for my skin. Um, every time I wear it, I get nice comments about it. I've never had a fail with it when I've put it on. It just always goes on so well. If you've not tried it, it would be worth, if you want to, of course, picking one up from when the shops are open again. Just give it a go and let me know if you like it because I love it. Right, this was another freebie I got as well. So, but it's now an empty, so I thought I'd talk about it. So I got this from, I got, I think there was about eight in here. It's the Elizabeth Arden Vitamin C and these are the ceramide um, capsules, the radiance capsules. Now, I might upset the apple cart here. So I got these from Debenhams in a little gift. Um, I get their beauty card and you get some freebies if you're lucky enough to get one, usually once a month. Um, a lot of people rave about these. I don't know why, to be honest. Again, though, it's everybody's got different skin types. You know, what works for me might not work for you, blah, blah, blah. But I used all of them. Um, they're like little, they're like bath pearls from years and years ago. And you snip the end off and you get, I think what it is with me, I'm not so keen on oils for my skin. I like lotion. I like moisturiser. I like a light, nice thick lotion. Oils don't cut it for me for some reason. I don't like them. And these were, you squeeze it out. There's none left in here. But you get a little bit of oil, obviously put it on your skin. And there's actually a YouTuber that I watch who's a very famous YouTuber, Lydia Elise Millen. She raves about these. Um, and that's why I was so interested to have a go on them. But it might be because she maybe gets them gifted or sponsored or paid. Possibly, maybe that's why she says she likes them. But anyway, I've tried them, didn't like them, definitely won't be buying them, especially for how much they cost. If you like them, I'd love to hear from you below because I'd like to know what all the fuss is about. Maybe they're not for my skin type, don't know. Bin for me. Facial moisturizer next, this is the number seven, uh, soft and soothed. This took me ages to get through. I've had this for a long time, but yeah, I really like this. It's a lovely, gentle makeup remover. Gets rid of waterproof mascara. Um, very, very, it's hypoallergenic, very soft, gentle on your skin, but does does a very good job. So if, I mean, I use micellar a lot, micellar water a lot of the time now, but if I, sometimes I'm not in the mood for using that, 
Does anybody else feel like that? But if I want to use this a lotion, this is the one I always reach for. Um, number seven, I think it's about £12.50. If it's any different, I'll pop it in below. Um, I tend to get it, you know when Boots used to do um, the vouchers, like you get the £5 off, that's when I tend to buy some. So I've got quite a stock of this. Um, but yeah, that's a definite buy it from me. Covered this before on my channel, only when I've bought it. Finally got to the bottom of one now. Um, I've only just really started using it in the past probably six months. Got it from Home Bargains. You can get it from other places. I did actually get another bottle because I was got to the bottom panicking a bit because I hadn't been to Home Bargains because of lockdown. Managed to get some at uh, Sainsbury's for the same price. So um, yeah, I paid Home Bargains two ninety nine for it. Oh, I can't pronounce this. Schwarzkopf, 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 that's the best I'm going to get to, um, got to be oil-licious, tame and shine styling oil, now I think what a lot of people use this for, these YouTubers with the gorgeous, lovely long locks, usually hair extensions, um, a lot of them tend to, when they curl it, run it through, now I have got quite long hair now, um, I don't tend to wear it down very often, now and again. But what I tend to do is I mix this in with a bit of hair thickener. Um, just put, in fact, I use about five pumps because I've got long hair. And it, it does, it makes my hair feel really nice. And I tend to use products and then think, actually, are they very good? So the other day, I, when I'd run out, I used something else instead. And I couldn't believe the difference how my hair felt. So obviously this is doing some good for my hair so i really yeah i really like it so this one is a definite buy from me so if you're trying to maybe tame a bit of frizz put a bit of shine on your hair be mindful it is an oil so don't go crazy on it but for three quid it's definitely worth a go right this was another freebie i got as well from debenhams and another one where i might uh upset a few people so it's a clarins moisturizer and it's called reboost and it's a refreshing hydrating cream now it says 15 mil there's no way there was 15 mil in there i can't believe how quickly i mean that looks like quite a decent sized bottle i got through this in about a week or 10 days i used it every night once i cleaned on my skin um yeah it's a facial moisturizer didn't rate it at all didn't think much to it. It's very thin. It wasn't enough for, for my skin. Again, different skin types. But it didn't feel nourishing enough for my skin. And I actually found that I had to put either a lot on or an extra product on the top of it. Didn't rate it at all. We'll be very interested to hear if you've used it, what you think on it. But no, that's a definite bin it from me. On the other hand, this one... This was a Bobbi Brown sample that I got. This is a sort of a larger version of it. Again, it was a sample. Um, it's the Vitamin Enriched Face Cream. It's really expensive, but it is lovely. It's like um, a face base. I think it's called a Vitamin Enriched. In fact, I'll stick a picture in. So it's sort of a, it's a moisturiser, but can be used as a base as well, almost a built-in primer-ish maybe and it is gorgeous it smells divine it's got a lemony i think it's a lemony tint to it citrusy you can see there the texture of it oh it's lovely it's really really thick very creamy very nourishing absolutely love this stuff yeah, I was contemplating buying some just before lockdown. And unfortunately, our local John Lewis is shut and you can't buy it from anywhere else. So I've saved my pennies. Anyway, yeah, absolutely love that. Now, would I buy it? Mm. I'm not sure. It's very expensive. And I'm not sure if it's actually any nicer than the Clinique one that I normally use. It's a different, it's a different texture. It, and if it's more of a base, I mean, I use this along with another moisturiser for my base. And in fact, if you add them up, they're probably about the same cost. But you've got more because I've got two lots. But yeah, so I might buy that for a treat. I definitely 
if somebody else wanted to buy it for me, yes, please. Thank you very much. Another hair product here, Bedhead, TG, T-I-G-I, -I, Tiggy. Not sure how you pronounce it. Still don't know. You say that every time. Right, this one was, um, I think it's called Resurrection. Um, yeah, so this one I got, my normal one that I buy in the purple bottle, they didn't have any in Home Bargains when I went to get some. And I needed some conditioner. So they call them, well, that one's called Resurrection. The one I use is called Reconstructor. They don't call them conditioners. Anyway, so I bought this one because it said it's for weak, brittle, weak and brittle hair that needs an intervention. I absolutely love these products. I keep saying on here, I'm not sure what's helped with my hair. My hair just is so much in better condition now and I don't know whether, I can't put my finger on what, which bit it is. Whether it's food, diet, vitamin tablets or the stuff I'm washing and conditioning with it. I don't know, but I'm hoping not to for it to change. So I shall carry on buying and using the bits that I have been recently. But this stuff, um, I didn't really like the smell of it as much. I don't know why. In fact, there's quite a bit still left in there. It has got a nice smell. It's just not as nice as the other one that I use. So, yeah, I'm... I'm not sure on this one. I did like it. It's not as nice as the other. So when it comes to bin it or buy it, I would buy it again if the other one's not available. So I'm just going to do a few more. I'm not going to do the whole basket because there's just so many. Right, this is my next thing. I picked this up. Got this from Pound Stretcher. Uh, it's actually a bourgeois, bourgeois. It's actually a bourgeois product. Bourgeois? And it... I don't know why a bourgeois. I thought it was a mascara. That was it. It was only 50p. Um, it was in a packet, so I couldn't even see what it was, but I thought for 50p, I'll try a bit of mascara and it's got blonde on it. So I thought, oh, be all right for eyebrows. It is crap. I don't like swearing on here. Look at it. Look at the colour. Who on earth has eyebrows this colour? May I ask? It's gold. Absolute rubbish. Whether it's mascara, eyebrow mascara, eyebrow colour, I don't know. It's, oh my goodness gracious. And I went in there not long ago, recently, and it's still in there. Still for 50p. I don't know what it's meant to be, but it is rhubarb. Um, I haven't even used it. I was going to include it in a giveaway, but it's that rubbish. I thought, don't be such a skin flint, Belinda. Just chuck it in the bin. Goodness knows, it might be all right in your hair. In fact, it might cover grey hair. Unless that's what it's for. No, it says colours and combs eyebrows. Waterproof formula. Flipping out, I wouldn't want that going in and couldn't get it out. Anyway, it's going in the bin. No thanks. Right, teeth whitening next. Um, my favourite teeth whitening strips. Can't get hold of them. The crest ones. Anyway, I bought these thinking they were the crest ones and they weren't. Uh, got them off eBay. They are rubbish. They are the 3D white teeth whitening strips. In fact, I'm not doing too well with teeth whitening lately. I bought um, a pack from Primark as well. Thought I'd give them a go. Uh, they were £4, so they weren't that cheap. But they're rubbish as well. Anyway, these are the ones that you put on the bottom, top and bottom teeth. Leave them on for half an hour, pull them off. Um, no, nah, no good. And they weren't that cheap either. I think I paid about £15 for these for about 10 Anyway, I'll stick to my others in the future. These are binned. Facial wash, Clinique. Um, this was out of a little set that I got. The normal one, in, the full full bottle one. Uh, full size is a lot bigger. It's the Extra Gentle Cleansing Foam. Yeah, really like this. It's really gentle on your skin. Get a nice lather. It's like one of those moussey ones. There's none left, so I can't show you. Oh, yes, there is. There you go. Yeah, so like a little mousse. I do really like this, but it's very expensive. So um, if it came in another pack like this, like I've got this one with something else I bought, I'd use it again. But I found one that I use from Home Bargains now and I think it's as good and it's only 89p. So no, I, I'm afraid Clinique, I'm really sad to say, but no, I won't be buying you again because you're too expensive. Just for men, beard dye. You may have seen a video I did recently, dyeing the old eyebrows. 
Uh, yeah, absolutely rave about this stuff. Um, it's the best eyebrow dye I've used. Uh, it is beard dye, men's beard dye. Um, finally got to the bottom of it. I think those have lasted me, I'd say six months. Got six months worth out of there for about £6.50. Um, if you're interested, there is a video on my channel about how to dye your eyebrows using it. Um, I will not switch to another eyebrow dye product now, I don't think. I've tried quite a few over the years. Uh, for the price and the actual quality and how well it dyes my eyebrows, I shall be sticking to that. So it's a definite buy. And in fact, I bought some not that long ago. Just wanted to talk about these. Um, these are from Aldi. They are the vitamin C effervescent, effervescent uh, tablets. Pop those in your water bottle, one a day, just to get a bit of extra vitamin C. These are really nice, the raspberry flavor. They're only about 60p, 69p. Um, yeah, really, really like these. And they are, like I say, a great way of getting some vitamin C. You get 100, 1,000 milligrams per um, little tablet. And they just make a really nice drink, actually. If you're not that keen on water, rather than having squash, pop one of these. I wouldn't necessarily say have a few a day, but pop one of these in your water bottle just for a different drink. Really like them. Definite buy. So I've been wearing quite a few false nails during lockdown and over the recent month. Not got any on at the minute, so please don't look. Um, yeah, I've been using Glamour Girl Stiletto Gloss from Poundland. Um, if I've got a picture of these still, I'll pop it in. I did a video on these a while ago, how to put them on. Absolutely love this colour. They're like rose gold, they're beautiful. And they stay on quite well as well. So you get 24 for a pound, so definitely buy those again. They don't very often have them actually in our palm lands, so if you see them, grab them. And then some of the Primark ones, yeah, absolutely love these. We'll always buy Primark uh, nails again. The only thing is, I am finding, you have to be careful, some of them are a bit thin and um, they ping off quickly or they don't last very well. They don't even look that great on your nails. So I think going forward, I may be trying, except for those because they're very good, um, I think I'm going to be a bit more cautious about the ones I buy from Primark in the future um, because I want the ones that look a bit nicer on your nails and last a bit longer. It's not worth buying anything that's cheap if it's rubbish is it so buy i'm gonna say bin because i should be buying better ones in the future oral b toothpaste love this one this is the 3d white um finally got myself an electric toothbrush alan bought me one not that long ago um neither of us have used electric toothbrushes and need to be looking after our teggies now we're getting a bit older um so yeah i've been using that with my oral b Toothbrush, definite buy. Now, ha <laughs> ha yes, if you've been here a long time, you'll know I love this now. This is one of my new favourite eyebrow pencils. It's Brow Sketch from Primark. Now, whilst we've been in lockdown, obviously I've not been able to get any more, which is a bit of a pain. So I did a eyebrow product review recently and there was a product on it that oh. I featured. It's the Revolution. So that's £3. That, I think they're £2. 150 um anyway can't get any of those at the moment because primark's shut so i really like this actually but this isn't about that but yeah i found a, a substitute product anyway but yeah brow sketch so this is the blonde one and when i did a product review on this somebody suggested i might want to try a brown one um thought i could go a bit darker so i did actually buy light brown well it's almost ginger I don't know if it's going to pick up on here, if you can see it. So, yeah, it's almost ginger, this one, that I've got in uh, light brown. And then the blonde, which I've just used from another one, is there. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Bit of a waste of money for a ginger eyebrow. Not for me. I'm going to stick to the blonde. I will definitely buy that again. I love it. If you've not tried this product before and you like quite a, a thin pencil product... Um, you get the pencil one end and then the little spoolie the other end. It's a really, really good product, actually. Very, very good price. And yeah, I really like it. So definite buy. So let me talk to you about this stuff. I've got a new one here so you can actually see it better. Um, it's the Blistex Relief Cream. 
Now, this stuff, I have to say, if you've got chap lips or you have problems with cracked lips at the side or I'm not sure about cold, oh yeah, occasional cold sore. I mean, not so much in the weather we're in at the moment, but if you ever have sore lips, this stuff is absolutely fantastic. It's quite pungent. It's got, I'm not sure if it's got like ammonia or something in it. It's got a real strong smell to it. And when you use it, you have to be careful that it doesn't shoot out the end. If you press a bit, if you press it in the middle, it squishes out. So you have to be very gentle with it. But I find if I put that on at night, the next morning, my lips are good as new again. And it's not that expensive. Um, I actually got a, a my last tube or the next tube that I've just shown you from Aldi for one ninety nine. So they sell it in Boots, other super drug uh, supermarkets sell it, um, super drug places like that. It's definitely worth just having a tube of this in your cupboard if you ever struggle. So that's it. Another video done. Another month gone. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that one. Please do hit that subscribe button if you want to uh, join my growing YouTube channel, which isn't growing very quickly at the minute. But there's another story. Uh, anyway, yeah, or if you want to give me a little like or leave me a comment, I'll always write back to you. I love hearing from some of you. Um, a few of my regulars are not appearing very often down below. So if that's one of you, make sure you uh, drop me a note and I'll write back. Um, but anybody new as well, I'd love to hear from you. I love writing to people. Love having that sort of communication with you because it, it's nice. You know, it's not just me firing my face at the uh, the camera all the time. It's nice to get a bit back. So anyway, that's it. None of those, only those. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.